Hello guys, welcome into another FIFA 23 Tactics video here on the channel. I'm Ash or Brahma 18 as always, and today we are beginning the classic tactics for you. You guys have been at me all year since the day FIFA 23 was released. You guys have been at me asking when are we going to get classic systems? Well, we're going to get them today. And we're going to start off with a bang because we are covering Pep Guardiola's Barcelona system. In particular, the system we want to look at is the false nine system. The one that they use really kind of 2010, 2011, where Messi then kind of came inside. You had the likes of Pedro and Villa and Sanchez, etc., all are in the wide areas. Um, and, you know, Messi kind of dropped off as that false nine. So that's what we're going to look at today. Before we do get into that, I quickly want to say, if you haven't done so already, check out my Patreon, because if you want to see how this tactic ranks and rates compared to all of the other systems on the channel, you can get access to my FIFA 23 custom tactics package with rankings and ratings and suitable teams to players and strengths and weaknesses for every system that we do cover, as well as exclusive tactics videos that you'll only find on Patreon, the likes of Michael Carrick's Middlesbrough, we've covered Vincent Company's Burnley, we've done Real Sociedad, we've done all sorts of teams, all sorts of teams, Will Steel's Rem is coming as well. So do go and check that out, as well as a whole host of other perks. With that being said, let's talk about the system. Now, the first things first to mention is I have actually covered this previously, last year on FIFA 22. However, there are actually changes to it this year. I went back, watched some more footage and tweaked a couple of things. Also, the gameplay is different as well. So we have changed a few things. So that's something that's worth bearing in mind. With regards to the positions, just two position changes that you want. Naturally, you want this 4-3-3 holding system, which is what we've got. But then, uh, you want to make two changes. First things first, with the right back, we've got Belde in this case. It would have been Danny Alves, of course. Uh, you want to change into right wing back. He was very much the attacking-minded fullback, whereas on, on the left, for example, say someone like Abidal, was more a inverted kind of fullback but not quite to the extent that you'll see these days with say a Guardiola system where you've got the likes of Walker and what would have been Cancelo now like Nathan Ake really coming in central midfield he was just more of a kind of uh, kind of pragmatic I guess more reserved left back whereas Alves was really that out and out attacker so we're trying to replicate that and we'll change him to right wing back we've also got Pedri who would have played in this case the Iniesta role he's at Cam um, whereas with Gavi who's playing that Xavi role he's still at central midfield make sure he is right central midfield whereas Iniesta will be Cam obviously Iniesta was more of the one who would get into those advanced areas more he did his best work in those intricate pockets of spaces those tight areas, um, whereas Xavi was very much that kind of deeper um, playmaker. And that's what we're really trying to replicate here. With the tactics, starting off with defensive style, we've got constant pressure. They very much employed a relentless press, and I do think this replicates it much more effectively and realistically than what something like press after possession loss does, where they still do tend to kind of be a little bit more defensive. Uh, so constant pressure there. Width is on 20, very compact, very narrow. They like to cut out the amount of space that the opposition can find in between each kind of vertical line. And that's what they're looking to do here with 20. And then the depth is on 90, giving you a very, very high line. And you will, of course, naturally need very fast defenders in order to play that. The build-up play is slow build-up and the chance creation is possession. You know, I don't need to explain this too much. We know how they kind of um, build up by now. And then the attacking width is also on 20, trying to get players condensed as much as possible. Now, they still stretch the play, they stretch the opposition, and you're going to be wondering, well, how on earth do they do that? Well, the way they do that is by, one, having the wingers on the pitch, and two, also changing the likes of Alves to right wing back rather than right back. You'll notice that does make him get a little bit further wider, and as a result, he can really kind of help stretch the play um, and really get them kind of going in the wide areas. Players in a box is on six. You're roughly going to have between three and four players in the box obviously they didn't cross the ball as much but they did like to get to the byline and then cut it back which is something i did try in the kind of gameplay that you'll see down below um and so 
you're going to get obviously the front three and probably someone like Iniesta in there as well. Corners is on four and then free kicks is on three. Just gives you another man or two kind of back in the free kick situation. So if they want to, they do play it short. That's something that you will also see from me. Um, and I think it was the second half of the gameplay. So do keep an eye out for that. So what about the player instructions then? Starting off with Tushtagen in goal, of course, would have been Victor Valdez back in the day. We've got him and come to crosses and also sweeper keeper as well not quite to the extent that you'll see from a lot of kind of keepers these days but something that he did still kind of do and they did obviously uh, try and encourage with the two center backs Koundé and Arario in this case both of these are on normal so you don't need to change them and then obviously we've got the full backs with Alba and Balde here in this case with the left back as we've mentioned already more defensive so we've got his attacking runs on stay back whilst attacking and then his run type is on inverted whereas with what would have been the Danny Alba's role at right back we've got him on join the attack and overlap as well and that is again going to help you create that width that we mentioned a little bit earlier with De Jong playing that Busquets role in the centre of defensive midfield first things first defensive behaviour is cut passing lanes it is a kind of more lane and zonal orientated press that they did employ and his attacking support is dropped between the defenders he would often do that and help to form kind of a, a bit of a back four because obviously you've got the left back staying back as well but we've also got another instruction that means that when you are in possession, he won't constantly get between uh, the defenders. He'll only sometimes do it, which we'll talk about shortly. Interceptions is aggressive. This will is part of the reason between preventing him from constantly being in between the defenders is that sometimes he's going to step out, really kind of insert, assert himself and impose himself on the opponent. And again, just trying to personally kind of replicate it around Busquets and the way he kind of played, particularly in those days. His defensive position is cover centre. You don't want him getting dragged out wide either way. And then his position freedom is deep line playmaker. So, of course, something that we didn't have last year um, on FIFA. We had free roam, which didn't quite work quite like this. And this is the reason what's going to stop him from constantly being in between those two centre-backs. Because sometimes he's going to step forward and kind of roam around and offer um, kind of an option in possession. With Gavi then playing that Xavi role with attack support, he's on stay back whilst attacking and his support and crosses is also staying near to the box of the cross. Of course, very, very important that you are kind of replicating that deep lying playmaker role. And the best way to do that is partly with this so that he isn't kind of bombing on forward too much because you're not looking for that. And also with this instruction, positioning freedom should be on free roam. So you are looking for that. And his defensive position is cover wing. With Pedri then playing that Iniesta role, first things first, make sure that he's tracking back. And to do that, you want him on comeback on defense. And then his support on crosses is going to be getting to the box for the cross, as we mentioned earlier. He'd be part of that four that really would get into the box. And for all his positioning freedom, is free roam. Now, part of the reason why we've done this is because obviously at Cam, you're going to find him further forward in the intricate kind of advanced positions a little bit more in those tight areas. But often what you would have also noticed with Iniesta is that he often used to drop off as well and really help them kind of play the ball out um, when they were kind of in their own defensive and a middle third. So he really did a bit of everything. It wasn't just kind of Xavi who would come deeper and really pick at the ball. Sometimes Iniesta would do that as well and look to drive forward with it. And that's how we're going to do that because free roam is going to help to replicate that because he will kind of drop off, pick up areas really all over that, that middle third. So moving on to the two wingers then, uh, both of these are on the same instructions. We've got Fatty and Rafinha in this case. Obviously, you've got Dembele if you are playing with Barcelona as well. Uh, we've got them on comeback on defense. Again, get them tracking back, but hopefully you're going to be winning the ball high up the field with that press. So they shouldn't be having to do that an awful lot. Chance creation is cut inside and into support runs are getting behind this is something i always advise when you do have a false nine and it was very much the case with barcelona in this system as well because you've got that false nine he'll drop off the way in which they kind of make that work is that the wingers will then kind of invert and get in behind so it really tries to get the center backs dropping off with the false nine and these guys will utilize and exploit that space that is hopefully left by a center back kind of man marking so they're going to penetrate the back line with those runs and finally support on crosses is getting to the box for the cross so with the striker then i actually went with torres in this case i found he was one who could slightly replicate that role a little bit more effectively than Lewandowski because you're looking for someone who's a little bit more agile and better in those tighter spaces and so obviously that was more kind of Torres who is a converted winger slash striker in real life uh, so his support runs are actually stay central in this case because you've really got the 
a situation, that kind of Juego del Posicion, where he Guardiola didn't really want many kind of players drifting out of their kind of lanes um, and that kind of positional play that we talk about. So in this case, he's on stay central. And then his attacking runs is false nine naturally, as we've already spoken about. Um, with regards to him obviously dropping off, you're going to really crowd out that central midfield area and you're going to get those runners of the wingers in beyond. And then defensive support is stay forward. So with that being said, we're just about ready to round it off there. If you have found this helpful uh, and you want to see more, please do drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. If you've got any questions about the system, please do let me know and I'm sure you guys are going to get many, many suggestions in about tactics that you want to see me cover so um, I won't ask you for, for any more. Make sure obviously to check out my Patreon, the links are down below. You can see how this tactic rank, ranks and rates compared to all of the other systems uh, and you can get oh, access to a whole host of different perks such as exclusive tactics videos and fancy football access and behind the scenes videos and a whole lot more as well. With that being said, we're going to round it off there. We're going to go into some gameplay now so you can see how the tactic works firsthand. And with that being said, until the next one, I will see you soon.